Ladies, gentlemen, and glavenous of all, ladies, welcome one and all to a bit of something different. A slight thought experiment, if you will. Glavenous, we all know him. Old world, new world, he's in both places now, and he hunts us down with a fiery vengeance that cannot be matched. And everyone, of course, knows his most notable feature is his tail, specifically how much it resembles a greatsword. In Iceborne, we also had a new glavenous subspecies added, the acidic glavenous, whose tail and moveset closely resemble the longsword, which leads us directly to the topic of today's video. There are 14 weapons in total in the game, and we have two glavenous in the game as well, each representing Presenting one of these weapons. So, if we were to complete the collection, what would the other 12 look like? How would they fight? I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want an entire pack of different Glavinuses? Glaveni. Glavinus? Plurality is hard. Anyways, as the two we've already been given are the first two weapons in smithy order, why not continue in this fashion? Starting with everyone's favorite two small pieces of metal where one of them is sharp and one of them is not the sword and shield! This one is quite simple to me, really, as you can tell by the attached diagram. They all have diagrams, by the way, every single one of them, and some of them are very, very outlandish affairs, such as the hammer that you'll see later. Oh my god, is that a threat or a promise? But anyways, back on topic, this one is pretty easy for me. The sword tail obviously becomes much shorter than regular glavinous, but it is still there. And then a small plate of shield on the back. This way he can jump and slam down with his back like the blunt damage sword and shield combo. And I picture him having a move where he sort of enters a stance and then does a cool combo of sword strikes almost like perfect rush, but done by a shortened glavinous tail. Next up is of course dual blades. Please save all questions for the end, no interruptions. This train of thought ain't stopping for no one. Dual blades, clearly the tail is no longer a blade. It's basically just a stump it doesn't mean anything to this glavinous a tiny little stump it has no real purpose as the weapon is moved actually to the hands yes the only way that i could see fit to do dual blades justice in this manner was to make them his arms his tiny little arms and as dual blades they are still super tiny almost like a sharper faster tinier range bleed causing brachydeos without slime as far as how the actual fight would feel i also picture him being a particularly small glavinous but you really should have seen that coming Next up, the one that I hinted at a bit ahead of time for absolutely no reason at all is, uh... Now brace yourselves. Bang! Okay, now, I know what you're thinking, I'm crazy. Well, you're right. The perfect monster with a weaponized hammer tail already exists and I miss him dearly. So I had to go with the second way to make a hammer tail monster work. Clearly, the tail is just a giant spherical stump. And his neck is, of course, insanely long. Like, giraffe levels of length compared to Glavinus's regular size. And the idea behind this is simple. He sticks his head into the floor and then uses that as an axis to swing himself overhead tail first at his targets like pole vaulting the head is like the handle of the hammer the body is the shaft the legs help him push off the ground for extra momentum and the tail is the blunt object itself this fight like the actual fight i'm picturing here would just be bonkers like honestly i, I probably went too far but then also this picture is absolutely hilarious to me so anyone who has a problem with it can just go big bang themselves the next weapon of course the hunting horn and well, this is another one of the simpler ones, at least visually speaking. It's glavenous, but instead of a pointy sword tail, he has an oblong horn tail, so he can make incredibly loud noises from the tail. As far as an actual fight functioning, I see a couple of options, maybe even mixed together. Yeah, why not? You could go for a very legitimate hunting horn style fight, make him call in small monsters to the zone, and then buff them up with songs type deal. And then on top of that, while these creatures are becoming more powerful and attacking, you, the actual song performance itself out of this massive horn that he has is obviously so loud that it basically has a tremor-like effect while the song is being played unless you have full earplugs, which would turn it into a massive damage opening for the hunter. This one is weird for sure, but I feel like has some sort of potential at least, which is maybe a little bit more than I can say for my next friend here. Lance Glavinus, or I guess my interpretation, which is a massive shield Glavinus. He uses this giant shield on the end of what would normally be his tail as an adjustable, highly mobile and flexible blocking appendage. But he can also use it offensively by placing it in front of him on the ground and charging forward with it like a bulldozer or, you know, like a lance. I don't know. I really like this one. He is definitely an unusual creature, but I can see this fight winding up being a lot of fun to actually do. So, at the very least, I know I've made something that I would like here. It's not about you. After this, I constructed Gunlance Glavinus, who, as you can see, has adopted a very, very specific part of the Gunlance itself, 
the worm stake. The idea of this one being that the end of his tail is actually detachable and will stay attached to its target if it hits, maybe slowing them down a bit while it's in them, but most definitely exploding for a little bit of extra damage every time you get hit by another attack from him with this spike inside of you. As for how to get the spike out, I'll leave that to someone better game design than me, either just read it like bleed and crouch or make it item based, but I like the idea of the mechanic itself of a monster being able to increase his damage against you with this kind of preparation. If it hits you, the next hit does more damage. Next up, we move on to a bit of a different class of weapon here with the Switch Axe. And as you can see, the tail quite clearly starts in axe mode here, but almost hinge-like, it can stiffen its way outwards to sword mode, where I can totally see this one just having a zero-sum discharge, like attack is his signature move, where he just holds his tail out in front of him and shoots out element for a few seconds in a very pretty way, or you can even make that his pin attack, have him pin whenever he hits someone with the tip of his tail, you stick to the edge of the tail until he has done the zero sum discharge, and then he flings you away. I think that could be pretty fun too. Is this your idea of fun, man? After that, the next of the technical weapons, and another one I am very sorry for the picture of, Charge Blade. Okay, so hear me out on this one. The tail? Shortened, of course. It isn't a great sword, it's just a regular length, one-handed sword. But here's where it gets fun. He, like Charge Blade, has two modes. This one, where he has an extremely large lower jaw, I picture it almost like a sharp Uragon chin, and he'd have head slam attacks as a result, like Uragon. But then, he can enter his secondary form, I'm sorry, here, where he slots his tail into his lower jaw and disconnects it. He has a detachable jaw, again, I am so sorry, but this allows him to essentially turn his sword tail into an axe tail, mid-fight, and I'd probably give him a nice nod to super amped element discharge in this state as well, just because you can. This one was probably the weirdest one for me to theorize, but as absolutely horrifying as a glavinous with no lower jaw is, I feel like this one is sort of neat if you can, you know, just get past the scary part. If you want a bit of relief from that terror though, then this next one will be perfect for you. Insect Glaive, or should I say, Double Bladed Glavinous. Yeah, long, long tail as usual, but an equally long, long neck leading to a head with a bladed chin. Voila! Spinning Dervish Death Glavinous, you're welcome! What is wrong with you? Clearly he can vault off of one side to cover massive distance in a single leap, but most of the interestingness of this fight that I can picture is that he can attack both with his tail and his chin at the same time. They're both bending appendages, but he struggles to reach his own legs, meaning that being anywhere from 10 to 20 feet from him is super, super dangerous. He can attack you with whatever, but being so close range that you can hug his knee is relatively safe, at least comparatively safe, only having to dodge occasionally. Past this, we move on to, well, the, the most interesting classes of Glavinists, I think, the ranged weapons. Blame me all you want, but coming up with monster tail representations of ranged weapons is, uh, well, let's get the status one of the way first, light bow gun. This one would be tiny, like super, super tiny, maybe even the smallest of the ones that I've talked about here today, and unlike the normal Glavinous tail, his instead tapers off into a rifle type shape, very thin, very barrel-like ending, you know, from which he could fire small bullet-like projectiles. Yes, I am literally suggesting that we give a monster a gun tail, a rifle tail, and yes, I think we could make this thing work, if I was given a team of capable game developers to fix my design issues. That said, I think I have this next one 100% nailed, and I present to you the Heavy Bowgun Cannon Glavinous. Yes, it looks like a jet engine, but picture that jet engine more glowing and molten. This Glavinous fights with bites and hip checks, and his rear side is just total mayhem to be anywhere near. He can fire out large explosive blasts from it whenever he wants, maybe even mid other attacks, just because I want his backside to be dangerous. He can probably abuse this effect also to propel himself forward places, and then his special unique big attack would be to aim the cannon upwards and shoot what is basically cluster ammo into the sky, exploding above you as you have to watch out for the raining debris of explosions. The one issue with this one? Okay, I'll admit, having a cannon for a butt does open you up for a lot of teasing, but, well, I want as many of these Glavinous weapons to be tail-based as possible, and a long cylindrical tail would have led to far different teasing, so take what you can get on this one. Lastly, but absolutely not leastly, one of my favorite designs, the Bow Glavinous. This version of him bends his tail in a sharp curve to bite down on the end of it with his mouth, while his overgrown back spikes rest on top of it like an arrow. For whatever reason, he has some spider 
lighter DNA or something that lets him have a nice elastic like material and then use this to fire this detachable back spike which would then regrow throughout the fight bish bash bosh Bo Glavidus. I think I nailed that one, honestly. In, in fact, I think I nailed most of these, but these were merely my ideas. I would love to see and hear about any takes that you guys have on this army of Glavinus that we're talking about attached to each of the 12 non-Glavinized weapons. All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and these have been 12 unreleased Glavinous subspecies concepts by me, Cotton Dinosaur. Did you like any of these specifically? Which other monsters do you think could have this kind of sensible variety of subspecies with this many different versions? Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love, so let's start with something simple and say, oh, we love your eyes. When they're watching us play video games, when we make a bunch of jokes that are kind of lame, or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia. Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here talking about the things you want to hear, so if you want to be the first to hear, like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer. Some of you are patrons even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros. There's nothing we can do to thank you. No, really, there's nothing. Nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.